So which is better, LOL GA or RL Exchange? What up guys, Matlong6 here, and in today's video we're going to give LOL GA a second chance. Now if you don't know about LOL GA and my history, we used to be affiliated with each other, we even had a discount code for you guys to use but that's no longer the case. I explained that in this video right here where I share with you guys how they're actually disrespectful to their users and customers. And today we're going to be comparing them to what I call the gold standard of buying Rocket League items online, RL Exchange. RL Exchange is my favorite place to buy Rocket League items when I compare them to LOL GA, AOA, to rockprices.com, GameFlip, IG Vault, RL Exchange has always been on top. So let's see if LOL GA has made any changes. They respect their customers and see if they can actually beat RL Exchange overall. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are on LOL GA's website. Now we're going to be comparing LOL GA to RL Exchange on a couple of things. We're going to see first how long their chat takes to respond and then we're going to see the professionalism of the live chat and then we're going to check the trust pilot and then we're going to see the ui and searchability of items then we're going to purchase the items and check the prices and then we're going to see how long they actually take to deliver the item so yeah anyways guys we're going to do that right now let's go ahead and start with live chat all right, so we got live chat up on both websites. Let me go ahead and type in my name and email here. Okay, so I got a message typed up here for LOL GA as well as RL Exchange. Same message for LOL GA. I added Rocket League because they do more than just Rocket League. And uh, yeah, we're going to see which one actually responds first. So let's go ahead and get started. Ready, set, go! All right, let's see how long they take. Okay, so it looks like LOGA has actually responded already first. And uh, what I don't like is that they all the customer support agents on LOGA use the same account called Linda. And I don't like this because it doesn't seem as personal to me when I'm talking to them. Whereas with RL Exchange, who just responded, they will actually use the individual accounts. See, I'm talking to uh, Maria right here and I actually know their names, but Linda, that's not their real name. But Linda asked first, so I'll reply to them first, and I'll say PC, and I can actually say Steam. There we go. And RL Exchange says that all platform wait is 24 hours. Now, that's just their generic wait time. That doesn't mean it will be 24 hours. Could be more. It could be up to three days or up to seven days if it's a really rare items. But from my personal experience, it's typically like a few hours at most but if you have any questions about your order or it's taking too long or something then uh, with lol ga or rl exchange definitely contact their live support and they'll help you know what's going on all right so linda said did you check it on our website we have go to order now that's another thing i don't like about lol ga is that their english skills need to be worked on but at least they're being respectful right now we haven't gotten any type of argument but there's nothing really argue over right now so let me go ahead and check their website and see if i can figure it out what he's talking about go to order Okay, so I found Phoenix Fire. Now what we're going to be doing is actually doing for a screen. Now, if you guys would like to help me decide what to buy for videos like this, then definitely join our Discord where I ask you guys all the time. So let me go ahead and take a look. It looks like Forest Green and it doesn't have an estimate wait time, does it? Let me redo this. 24 seven chat. Okay, so I read through this. It doesn't say anything about estimate wait times that I can see um okay that's fine uh let me see did you check it on our website where can i check okay so it looks like we have got your order it's poor english but i think they're saying that they have it in stock so it should be delivered pretty quickly then i would imagine so let's go ahead and we're going to test their trust pilot and then we're going to go ahead and check for pricing and order the items and we'll see how long these actually take to deliver. Trust pilot. All right. So let's take a look at these guys. It's trust pilot. So the first thing I notice here is this alert that 
Trustpilot actually posted on LOL God's review page is that it looks like this company is breaching terms of use with uh, Trustpilot and that this company isn't playing by the rules. LOL God may be displaying reviews that are not permitted to use that could be misleading. I don't know exactly what that means, but I do know that it claims that they have a 4.5 stars while RL Exchange has 4.9 stars and LOLGA has only, we'll just round up to 3,000 uh, reviewers while RL Exchange has almost 8,000 reviews. So it looks like both of them have the majority of excellent reviews over here and stuff. So that's good. Um, so if you need to read through these, definitely go ahead and let's get back to purchasing an item and see how easy it is to uh, search for items you want and stuff like that. So let's get over there. All right, so uh, the first thing I noticed on their main website is they trade more than just Rocket League items. They do different things as well. I have not tested anything else except for RL Exchange. Um, let's go ahead and click buy now on Rocket League items, and then you have to select which platform you're on. We are going to be doing uh, the Steam version today, and we're going to also be doing what you guys decided in Discord is going to be the Phoenix Fire goal explosion so let's take a look at that now i went ahead and decided for myself that we're going to be doing forest green let's add that to our cart here so that was actually pretty easy and painless uh, that wasn't that bad they had a nice good selection right here so their ui seems to be pretty user friendly they look pretty good and stuff um the searchability was pretty good way better than game flips searchability um and yeah it looks like you can search by just goal explosions with a new goal explosion phoenix is show me only the goal explosion no it shows me a trail and stuff all right good to know good to know let's go ahead and move over to rl exchange okay so here we got rl exchange you can see here it says that we can select our platform right up top it's all on one page you can select and customize just by different colors so if you want to make a forest green car or something you could select here and show only the forest green color as an option and i think we're going to search for phoenix and we got it separated by boosters toppers and goal explosions so you know what you're getting uh whereas ella ga had it all in one thing and then they got a drop down menu here for colors and we're going to get four screen so the reason why we're getting the exact same item is so that way it's completely fair and we'll make a purchase at the exact same time as well so let's take forest green add to cart boom bam there we go and yeah let's compare the prices real quick Okay, so uh, taking a look at the prices of LOGA versus RL Exchange, we're gonna focus on the Phoenix Fire Goal Explosion and then talk a little bit more generically. So the Phoenix Fire Black is $11.74 on LOGA, whereas it's $11.49, a little bit cheaper on RL Exchange. With Burnt Sienna, we got uh, a little more expensive on LOGA. And for Cobalt, we got a little cheaper on RL Exchange and for Crimson we got a little more expensive on RL Exchange for Forest Green it looks like it is cheaper on RL Exchange for the gold version it looks like it's a lot cheaper on LOLGA the gray version looks like it's going to be cheaper on RL Exchange lime version it looks like it's going to be cheaper on RL exchange pink is going to be cheaper on RL exchange and purple it's going to be cheaper on RL exchange and sky blue it's going to be cheaper on RL exchange and titanium white it is going to be cheaper it's going to be same price on both websites so definitely keep that in mind when you are comparing these two websites that to me it looks like most of the time RL exchange has the cheaper item however LOL GA does have some items or at least the same item that has different paint jobs that are cheaper like the gold version in this case so it's good to keep in mind to look at both websites for which one's cheaper if that's all you care about i care a little bit more about just price like as you can see from trust pilot uh with that alert 
it looks like LO Gaw is known to do some shady business, at least in the past. And uh, with the video I made in the past as well, they are not the most respectful and stuff. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Um, I care about that, but maybe you want to care about the price. So LL Gaw might be cheaper in some cases. Now, uh, there's still some more to talk about for prices. So let's go ahead and jump into our basket and cart and see how much the total is going to cost after fees. So here we are in our carts for both websites. Let's go to our exchange, click buy items, see the final value here is going to be $11.49, which is the exact price of the item that was listed on the website. Now to go over to LOL GA, it says $11.74, which is what was listed on the website. But as we go to what their final price is going to be, and you scroll down here, you will see that they actually charge a fee that they do not tell you about until you get to check out so that's something also to keep in mind that if lol Gaw happens to be cheaper than rl exchange keep in mind what it might cost after the hidden fees after the hidden fees all right so keep that in mind let's go ahead and see what information is required so of course they need to know like in this case your steam or epic uh name and uh, they also need to know your real name your email now i have no idea why in the world they need your telephone number but they require your telephone number let's go on over to rl exchange and they need your email and just your uh steam ID or your epic ID and uh, they can trade with you there so uh, it, I have no idea why they want my phone number but we're going to give it to them just so that we, we can finish this video so another thing to keep in mind when calculating the total price of these orders is that where LOL got adds a fee with RL exchange I actually have a discount code you guys can use at matlong6 get 3% off your RL exchange order so definitely keep that in mind when you're comparing these prices as well now i can't use my own code sadly but you guys can so you won't see that reflected in the video but you'll get three percent off use my code matlong6 let's go ahead and make these purchases three two one check out check out all right there we go both orders have been submitted now let's go check our email and see if we got email confirmation as well as let's time and see how long these guys are actually going to take to deliver our order Okay, so we're on our email here. The first thing I noticed is that I got an automatic email transcript of the live chat that I was talking with RL Exchange, but I did not get it with LOL Got. However, I think there is a way if you uh, select, you can manually tell LOL Got to email you a transcript so that way you'll have a copy of it if you need it. So let's see what other emails I got. So it looks like LOL Got did not email me directly, but I did get a receipt from my uh, payment company. So I paid with PayPal in this case, so I actually got an email back. Whereas if I would have paid with a card, I don't think I would have gotten any receipt whatsoever. And it also looks like RL Exchange actually emailed me saying thank you for choosing RL Exchange and will notify me via email once the item is ready for delivery. It may take 24 hours, but in rare cases, up to seven days depending on the rarity of your item and if they have it in stock or not. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what other emails we got. It looks like RL Exchange is already ready to trade. Your order is ready. So let's go ahead and collect our order real quick. So let's see, it says it's ready. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get the item. We need to launch Rocket League. One second. All right, so we got Rocket League launched now. Uh, you guys like my ride? <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're ready to get our items here and request party invite and Oh, there we go He he already he's already here. So oh, we're ready to trade and Phoenix fire forest green cool. Let's accept and yep forest green All right, let's go Hey, there we go. Forest green, Phoenix fire, goal explosion. Let's take a look. Oh, it's actually kind of pretty and stuff. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and check our email and see if LOL Gaw is ready to trade or not. Okay, so it looks like LOL Gaw, which just says service, it doesn't say LOL Gaw or anything. 
um, had, they tried to deliver my items, but I wasn't logged in because there was actually a Steam issue that was going on. But it's okay because we're all right and we're ready to trade. So let's inquire about your order. Okay, so how do I do this? Do I need to sign in or something? Uh, my account, my order history. Nope, it's not in here. Uh, so I guess I wasn't signed in when I made this order, but that's okay. Luckily, I do know what to do. So what you're supposed to do is take your order number here, ask live chat. So let's go ahead and submit that and say, I guess, ready to trade. Okay, so Linda says, please go online, add us on Epic. Our Epic display name is this. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. Oh, I have a notification. And oh, they already add me as a friend anyway. So that's real good. Add and uh, do I invite them to trade? Let me ask. They didn't say what to do yet. All right, guys. So it's been maybe two minutes waiting for them to reply. It said, hey, I already added you as a friend. So now we're seeing. What do I do now? Normally they invite me. So I shouldn't invite him to trade. He, uh, he might be. He might be with another customer right now. And I don't want to ruin that up. Don't want him to accidentally accept my invite when he's trying to accept trade with someone else. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm dizzy. All right, so they invited me. Let's go ahead and accept that invite. Let me say, yo. Oh crap, I accidentally canceled that. Uh, let's invite the trade again, my bad. I hit enter on the keyboard, all right, when I tried to send the message. All right, so I was gonna get a Phoenix four screen. There we go. Accept four screen still, that's good. Accept. Hey, there we have it. Cool, good to know. And now if you guys would like to uh, win one of these uh, forest greens, then definitely leave a comment down below. I will be selecting one random uh, viewer down there who comments down below to uh, give you uh, this forest green Phoenix. If you would like it, comment down below. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and uh, go over some of the uh, summary and then we're gonna end this video. All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and do a little summary of what we just did. So uh, live chat time to response was actually pretty good for both of them. Now for professionality, they were both pretty professional today. However, LOL Gal in the past has been rude to me and I made a video about that if you wanna know more about what's going on there. Now we also talked about their trust pilot and we saw that LOL Gal was a little shady with trust pilot, but they both had pretty good reviews. RL Exchange was a 4.9, so a little bit better than LOL Ga, and it also had more reviews. And after that, we went and talked about the UI and the searchability, and I personally preferred RL Exchange, but they're both pretty good platforms to search on. Now, when we talk about pricing, LOL Ga had some hidden fees that they don't tell you about until the very end, whereas RL Exchange had no hidden fees, as well as I have a discount code MATLONG6 with RL Exchange and no discount code for LOL Ga. Now keep in mind that the prices did vary. Sometimes LOL Ga was cheaper than RL Exchange, but most of the time RL Exchange was just cheaper so now when we talk about the delivery time they're both pretty fast however rl exchange was a lot faster uh but they were still very good so in this case i would say that loga and rl exchange are both very good to buy items from however in the past LOLGA was shady, so I'm still not going to use them personally. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what other websites you would like to see me buy Rocket League items on next to see if we can find anything better than RL Exchange. So, yeah, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Enter that giveaway for the Phoenix Fire Goal Explosion by commenting down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And as always, Stay safe, stay active, stay healthy. God bless.
Peace. All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about a little summary about what we just did. So uh, we did a, a summary of how the cow 